What's up everybody, Michael Silva here. Welcome to another episode of Live Day Trading. Hey everybody, Michael Silva, welcome back. This is the series where I take you into my computer and we do some live trades on the Weeble desktop software. In today's episode, I will be trading ticker symbol CSCO. That's Costco. And let me first start off by saying, Holy moly, there is a lot of chop, and the chop doesn't seem to stop. That rhymed. That was cool. If it's your first time here watching these videos, high five. If you've been here before, make sure to smash that like button. Let's go ahead and just hop into today's crazy, 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 weird trade. All right, good morning, good morning. This here is ticker symbol CSCO for Costco. It has been on this bold little run here. Um, I'm looking at the five minute time frame. Got a lot of bit of, got some volume coming in. I um, entered at 3710 right here and I'm looking to capture a move to the upside. I think that this momentum could continue potentially. If I look back in the history of the chart, so I'm probably scaling more at this area if it, if it does come down. If I look back in the history of the chart, there's this area of support right around this, this, this area. So let's see here if it breaks through to the downside or creates somewhat of a wolf candle, I'm going to go ahead and flip my position. I'm in for 250 shares. Let's see how this one plays out. Ooh, that candle that formed is not the prettiest. That is a monster wolf candle. And I uh, scaled in another 250 shares. So that brings out my average price to 36.70. 70, so right here. Let's see if I can get above just a little bit. If not, I'm gonna probably reverse my position if it falls below this. MACD is still really bullish, but that last candle is a sketchy, sketchy monster right there. So that right there was a indecision candle. You can't tell whether if it wants to go up or down right now. Still with all this downward pressure, um, we might see it come back up into this range, but it's a, it's a tough one to say. Uh, if it does break above, I'm gonna be pretty quick to move my profits. But if it breaks below this range, I probably will reverse the position. This is a tough one should have probably waited for this candle to finish forming um, but you know it was a lot more bullish of a candle when I did enter in so I didn't see it coming down like this but we will see you know so I don't think it's going to keep on going to the upside. So what I just did here is I reversed my position to the downside. And this candle right here is freaking me out a little bit. So let's see here. I think it's going to be curling over a little bit. I think it's losing some steam. So now I'm 500 shares short to the downside. I sold another 500 shares into market. So now I'm short a total of a thousand shares here. So this yellow line right here is my price target and it came within one cent of hitting my price target. <laughs> 36, 11 and it came down into 36, 12. So I mean, Probably will still hit it, but I'm gonna get out of my position if it if it can here. It's having having some problems getting down though. I went ahead and reversed my position again to go long. I am at 36.57. So right here at this point. After this candle, I think that there's still a lot of buyers coming in. This could have been just a fake out. I think we're going to see, yeah, maybe a little bit more of a pullback, but ultimately I think it's going to be going up a little bit higher. 
All right, let's see how this plays out. I just bought into another 500 shares here on this pullback, um, looking at 1,500 shares long at 36.48 right here. <laughs> this thing is really irritating. So this is what I'm seeing. Obviously this huge wolf candle scares the crap out of me still. And it trapped all these long positions and then started moving to the upside and to come backwards and then it didn't. So it came back down and then it came back up and then it came all the way back down and then it's back up. And I've been reversing my position at the wrong time. So I'm just kind of in this trap. Here's the next move for it. Um, if it doesn't break through to the upside it's forming this cliff where there's these three points of data right here saying that, hey, this is a very strong area of support. It's basically where my price target was originally. Um, so let me fix that now to make it a light green of support. But if it breaks through to that, then we'll see a downwards, we'll see more of a downwards move to the downside. It'll flush. And it looks like it might do it, but I mean, who knows right now at this point. So 36.11, if it breaks through, I mean, it's basically around the $36 marker, then maybe, maybe potentially I'll reverse my position again, but holy moly, this thing is annoying. This goes back to when I was talking about the boat feeling like it was gonna capsize. I feel like I'm capsizing right now. <laughs> okay, so I just unloaded a thousand shares. Um, I scaled 200 at a time there, boom, 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 boom. I need it to break above this area, 36.78, 36.80, kind of that range to see more of a move to the potential upside of here. So let's see, I'm gonna hold in to these 500 shares to see what we can make out of it. I just got rid of another 200 shares, so I have 300 shares remaining. I don't know if it's gonna break this or not. Looking at the MACD, it's kind of losing its momentum, losing its volume. It's trying to break it. It's trying hard. Sold another 200 shares. Now I only have 100 shares remaining. I wanna make sure that this is a in the money trade. So I'll let this last 100 roll. Okay, I am just put in a sell order for the last remaining 100. It doesn't look like it wants to break above it, but I wanna still end above the green line in a green day, so. Should get filled here soon. Doki, cool, cool, cool. I am out. So that trade ended up being positive seventy-seven dollars. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want this to happen. This were a big red bar, so I got to catch a little bit of the profits. That was not a fun trade. That was like, oh gosh. That was literally. I was like, <laughs> I did everything incorrect until the very end. Where I mean, obviously, it made my money back, but I reversed my position two or three times. Two times, I think. Two or three times? Two or two, I, I can't remember. But at the wrong time, pretty much each time. So I was down pretty significantly. Um, just, yeah, gosh, it's just, this market volatility is crazy. You get the volume, then you get this wolf, so you think it'll be a pullback, but it doesn't. It starts moving up, and then it's pulling back again. It's it's everywhere. It's just not not ideal. So whatever. I'm, I, I'm If I find anything very clear opportunity, I may trade it take it. If not, I am done for the day. I'll just take $77 and, and call it quits. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye.